Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, Salatu Wassalamu Ala Rasulullah Mabad. Welcome everybody to a, another tutorial in which you're gonna learn how to um, solve the Gibson War Game Challenge. And the Gibson actually is a virtual machine, is a war game virtual machine, boot root virtual machine that you can actually, which is vulnerable to some exploits, so you can actually leverage those exploits and compromise the machine. So the Gibson contains Ubuntu 14.04, and I've ha I've got here my Kali Linux, um, uh, w which we are going to use to exploit this the the Gibson uh, virtual machine. However, I'm going to access the Kali Linux remotely using SSH to make uh, to make things uh, easier, and start play with it. Okay, play around with it. However, uh, the the Gibson uh, virtual okay the Gibson virtual machine resides on the same network as Kali Linux. So let's do net discover dash r and pass the the IP range our local IP range and there you go since this IP address is the is the one pertains to to the Gibson uh, machine however let's do a scan dash a dash p for all ports and dash p and to consider the host that as up okay followed by the IP address of the Gibson host and as you can see here we've got we've got two discovered open port 22 and 80 since this can we take a long time let me first start by with these two found two ports okay so let's start with SSH root at 10 to 0, 114 and as you can see here permission denied it seems which means that the root user is not allowed to access the server using SSH so let's actually jump to port 80 HTTP let's copy paste it here okay come on not found what the okay let's scroll HTTP okay so we've got a we've got a web page here the HTML an HTML web page and the most interesting thing here is the href okay the href um, which references to another web page okay so if we try to access it we are going to actually got another HTML page and the body contains that this these text or this this text okay so damn it go margo damn it margo margo is the the name of the person stop setting your password to god okay. at least try and use a different one of the foremost common ones blah 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 okay however um so it seems he, he he's suggesting putting this password but however the password is god so let's 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 Take a look if the Margo user has already changed its password. So let's Margo at I'm lazy, so I'm gonna paste okay SSH Margo at and there you go. The Margo user is allowed to access the server using SSH and let's try God and there you go. So we've got a shell. Um, who am I? Who am I? Margo user, so um, let's let's actually try to sudo in with God password, and as you can see here, the Margo is not allowed to execute Beam Bash. Um, so let's uh, actually print out print out the the privileges that the Margo user can do with the sudo command. So as you can see here, all users are, are allowed to execute this particular command, the convert command, with no password. So let's play with it. Okay, let's dash dash version and as you can see here the image magic um, the convert the convert ver the convert software actually uh, I don't know this command actually but however this is the version of this particular tool so what we're what uh, we're going to do is to google it okay on google exp or exploit DB for example so after doing so I found this particular uh, exploit, uh, okay, image magic, and this is the version involved, the versions involved. However, this actually can allow a user can allows can allow a user to execute arbitrary command. Okay, as you can see here, 
So let's try it out. And in this particular video, I'm not, I'm not gonna show you how to, to, to exploit this vulnerability using the convert command, but I'm going to show you another exploit. Okay, so this is just an example. So let's sudo https, okay, www.whitehacker.org. Um, slash um, whitehacker.org slash okay there's no need to include slash let's do id okay id directly and give it a foo.png okay as you can see here we've got a shell here we've got a something interesting we've got the id command got executed so in order to 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 get a shell you can actually um, do a reverse netcat here and, or whatsoever okay you can include the Python code or whatsoever so you can actually set up a, a netcat listener here and got a reverse shell however this is not what I'm about to show you this is pretty straightforward and easy okay so just go ahead and Google for a the netcat reverse shell and put it instead of the ID command okay However, if we do it, uname a, you're gonna see that the kernel version is 3.19, and this particular uh, set of versions are vulnerable to a local privilege escalation, as you can see here. Okay, kernel versions or Linux kernel versions less than 4.33. Uh, you can download this exploit. Remember, this is the the number of the, the exploit. Um, so let's go ahead and download it so i've already done it so if we go to privilege escalation you're gonna see that the exploit is here so we're gonna gc gcc compile it and the reason i'm compiling it here is um actually the margo uh, virtual machine does not contain the gcc uh command or compiler okay so for this reason we are going to do it here and we've got the exact here, the exact command uh, exploit, and I'm going to do it to to netcat and connect back to our virtual machine on port 444, and I am going to to give it the exact command. Okay, here I'm going to set set up a listener, listen variously on port 444, and the IP address. Or there's no need to do here the IP address and I'm going to store anything in uh, exact okay in a file called exact uh, netcat listen verbosely on port 444 okay so let's now tell it to stop when necessary so everything is good so as you will see in a moment, we've got a shell here, we've got a connection, I'm sorry, and uh, you, you will notice that the, the exec has been transferred successfully, and if we do who am I, who am I, I am a, privile a non-privileged privileged user, and if we execute the exec, you will notice that now I am the the root user so so i can do whatever i want in this particular virtual machine okay so hopefully you like this tutorial um uh, i'd like to thank you for viewing it um so as as always see you next time